Ladies and gentlemen, I am so thrilled to be here with <laughs> one of the most talented jazz pianists I have ever heard in my life. Uh, we're here with wow. the <laughs> wonderfully talented Jimin Park, um, who is a phenomenal, uh, I, would, I would call her a prodigy of jazz. Um, she is a, oh. uh, from South Korea. She's only 26 years old. <laughs> and she won a full ride scholarship to the Berkeley School of Music, which is incredibly hard to do. Um, she won second prize in the World Championship Old Time Piano Contest, um, which is all extremely impressive. But one of the things that impressed me the most about Jimin is uh, the following that she's generated online. She has amassed over 100,000 YouTube followers which is amazing. <laughs> I think to date you have over 5 million uh, YouTube uh, views on your channel. Hi. And uh, this is actually how I discovered you, Jimin, is uh, surfing the, the web on YouTube. And I remember seeing a video um, with you going through, I think it was Misty, and you, you said, hey, here's how all the pianists would play it. Uh, Bud Powell right. and Oscar Peterson. And I thought, oh, that's mm -hmm. so cool. And then recently a friend of mine sent me one of your videos. He said, you got to check this out. Jimin is playing Autumn Leaves in about six uh -huh. or seven different styles. And I think you did it in Stride, Ragtime, um, uh, Bossa Nova, you did Neo Soul. So uh, yeah. I thought, okay, we have to get you in here to the studio um, to do an interview and uh, pick your brain and share all of your uh, wonderful knowledge with our students um, mm -hmm. here on the platform. So Jimin, it's so great to be here with you. Thank you so much. That was a <laughs> great introduction of me. <laughs> yeah, well, so beautiful. Thank you. I'd love for you to take our our students on a journey through mm -hmm. through jazz. And yeah, I don't know if you want to start with ragtime uh, or stride, but yeah, right. I'd love to hear your perspective on playing these different styles of jazz um, and how mm -hmm. you approach each style. Yeah. So um, let's start with break time. Yeah. You know, uh, so I, I actually learned a lot when I'm making the video of the autumn leaves in 10 different styles. Mm. I, I actually had to explore some of the stuff that I didn't know. Yeah. But the things I, I learned the most is the rhythm of mm. it, each style mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. how right time didn't um uh, have a swing feel right and then strike brings that swing feel right uh and also it has a little different swing feel into different style like right time uh, uh stride piano and like 60s jazz has different swing feel Mm -hmm. So I had to learn that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Because in 60s, in 60s jazz, there were more laid back feel than right. a straight piano in the um, 20s. Mm -hmm. But the Errol Garner did the different things. Like Errol Garner like really did laid back. Mm. Can, you show, and, can you show us what you're, like, can you play a little bit and show me what you're yeah, referring yeah, right. to? So for me, I feel like, um uh, let's so for the sixties jazz mm -hmm. um they're more more playing with the quarter note uh laid back feel mm -hmm. I feel like so they're more uh playing like uh, let's choose one tune. Ornithology. Sure. How high the man? Yeah. If this is six is jazz, then uh, strike piano is more like more in the quarter note beat. Mm. Um, it's more close to that exact beat mm -hmm. than the 60s jazz. I think it's different for every artist. Yeah. But um, let me try. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was yeah. that was amazing. I love it. Yeah. So I um I think in the strike piano, it's uh the rhythm is more in the exact beat, but sometimes like there there are some people like Beth Waller that more super laid back feel. Yeah. And I really like the feel as well. Yeah. So it it really depends on the artist and the the tempo. Right. I think. Sure. I would say that stride music maybe swings harder, or at least the way that you played it, it has a stronger swing feel. Whereas I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of bebop music musicians played, still they still played swing eighth notes, but not with a hard swing. It was like a softer swing. Um, yeah. And then with the umpa, oh, you know. Yeah, and then with this umpa left hand, you know, you're really hitting. I think a lot more of. Um, ba, um, ba. You're hitting those beats two and four, probably more in the right hand. Right. Um, but they both carry a ton of syncopation. Would you agree with that? Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. So I think I think the important thing about uh, swing feel is that the N, one N. Yeah. Right. So one N to N three N four N. So. Can you show us what you mean? N with like little, are you talking about accenting the ands? One, and two, and three, and four, and. It's really, sometimes I think the swing feel gets more better when I accent on one, mm. when I play bop. Mm. So like if I'm praising, uh, ah. this kind of lick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pitch. <laughs> I don't have perfect pitch, but I have good relative really? pitch. I have good relative pitch. Oh, really? All right. So if I play this lick, uh, some some student some student might think that they have to accent every n, but actually that's not true. Because if I accent every um, the syncopation, then yeah, it yeah, sounds a little awkward. So right. I, I make it like Barry Harris and Bob Powell, they did it all like this in in bit one. Really? So they, okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So or so Yeah. yeah. So it's more like Right, I, I, yeah. it feels like it ma it makes the lines more special when you save the accent notes for the downbeat rather than going, you know, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it almost feels like it's yeah. like pulling on you too much. Right. So I've never, right. um, I've never really liked pianists who did that that hit all of the the ands. So yeah, that's really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never thought about that, but you're right. That is cool. So going back to stride, I, I think it was really cool that you played it in both styles. You know, as a stride pianist, um, were you improvising on how high, the, how high the Moon when you played the stride yeah. accompaniment? Yeah, I, I tried. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Can you show our students some of the techniques that you were using to create that stride accompaniment? Yeah, sure. So basically, if if I want to play the jazz standard and uh, stride uh, style, so for the left hand, like, Everybody plays uh, one and a five, and then I yeah. play. Yeah, exactly. Right. I sometimes add some tensions because this is jazz standard, so I can do right. basically whatever I want. But James P. Johnson or Fat Waller, they didn't actually put a lot of tension to the chords. Interesting. Okay. So they they only play try it, but I think more modern people play tensions yeah when they the court yeah so i i do that all the time as well okay that's cool so it sounds more, i don't know and what what do it you add more do you add the two as yeah, the I tension was, or the six because yeah. I'll, I'll hear both sometimes uh, yeah that's right i i sometimes play six and i sometimes play nine okay very when cool. i play me okay cool yeah i, yeah. I, I tend and, to do six you know oh yeah yeah, yeah, when I'm doing... Yeah, but actually, for, 
But oh, anyway, yeah, I'll. Amazing. Yeah, thank you. But the, the way I play Strat, I, I like six, but that's cool. I never tried the two. You know, that's cool. Anyway. Yeah, then, then it sounds about more bothering. Yeah. Then... Yeah. Wow, how, how you played that uh, G major seven, that was really nice. <laughs> thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing there? What was that lick? Oh. Well, yeah, what exactly. did you? Is what that what you played? played? Yeah. Ah. Or or I just played uh, F sharp F sharp major triad to G major triad. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Nice to play on piano, you know? Yeah. Or or the yeah, other way around. If you play F major, F major triad, uh, the other way around. Oh my goodness. It, it just feels nice to play on piano. Right. Would you say this is a characteristic stride technique to go... Do you, do you like to use that, that... Is that unique to you I, or do you hear it in other pianists? Actually, this one... Uh, no, it's not, it's not my things to do. I think I hear this on... I think more modern pianists use this a lot, but I, I'm not sure who actually played this first. Yeah. But I think Bill Charlotte did it. Oh, Bill Charlotte. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, though. he's one. He's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that was cool. Can you keep doing some more stride? I, I, this is fun to. Yeah. Um. So let's see. I use this a lot. I think this one, Fetzweller did it. Um, so when I get to the F major seven, yeah, or G major seven as well, I like to play this uh, pattern. You. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, well, oh, that's cool. Yeah, this one. Oh. Uh, I'll have to work on that. That's really cool. Yeah, right, right. and then the rhythm is, I think it's kind of polyrhythm. So it goes like. Something like this. And you, you can move whole step above, and then you can do it uh, G major as well. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a hard one. It's to F sharp, so yeah. for the hand. I'd love to show the student. I'd love to show the student what you're doing. I think it's amazing. I love this lick. You're playing an F. You're doing an F stride, and then you're going yep. the, the two and the six, right? And then you're yep. just coming in to the three and the yep. five, and yep. then you do it on the the five and the two, the nine, and then you come in yep. to the the three, the three and the one, and that's so nice. It's like yep. a yeah. So. This is something, would you use this as a fill when you're playing stride? Yeah. So I use this a lot uh, when I'm improvising on the stride piano over jazz standard. Mm. So yeah, I usually use this. In, in piano, you can use the specific lick in the certain key, mm. like this, this, um, leaks you can only use in key of F or D minor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So th this kind of leak is really interesting because you cannot really play 12 keys mm. because if you change the key, then then you have to practice a lot to get the technique right. because it's not natural right. option. Then. Right. Yeah. Would you say for this reason you tend to play stride in more white keys or or the same keys? That way you don't have to learn these licks in all 12 keys? Right, that's that's really interesting point because I think also many stride piano players were playing in certain keys yeah. than like you know, G flat or B major. Mm. So they can play the um, similar licks 
to mm. those keys. Mm. Yeah. I never thought of that, but I think that's that should be right. Yeah. I think for me as a stride pianist, I, t I, I tend to gravitate toward white keys because when you're trying to grab, you know, things like tense, you know, uh -huh. which, you, which you have a lot in stride, those are a lot harder right. for me to play in, you know, E flat. I, it's it's harder to grab yeah, them, so. And also I can't reach 10. Oh, you can't? <laughs> it's, it's so great to to see you can reach 10 because Barely. you can do so many things with 10 voicings, you know? Yeah. Especially in, on the stride piano. Um, it's cool, for, it's really cool for me to talk to another stride pianist because most jazz right. pianists there don't there play stride. Many. Yeah, it's kind right. of a, a novelty. Right. I, I actually never seen anyone like who plays stride piano and then also understand bebop piano. Right. And modern music like you. <laughs> it's amazing to meet you. Oh, thank you. Well, that's what impressed me so much about you is um, I feel like we're very similar pianists in that we, we enjoy a right. lot of styles and we understand the language um, mm -hmm. of so many styles. So. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's really cool. I love I love this concept of what you shared here with stride. Um, is there anything else when it comes to stride piano that you think is worth sharing for students? Um, yeah, in so in stride piano, if you're improvising mm -hmm. on any jazz jazz and art that you want to make it like a stride piano, yeah, then like. Like you did before when you uh, played G major, G major seven, uh, play with octave, uh, octave with uh, the voicings, the inner voicings, like yeah. yeah, and play that melody with the syncopations. Mm. I think that's the key. Point. <laughs> yeah. And then they play a lot of this kind of like, um, uh, uh, something like this. Something like that. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing there? That's cool. I think every stride piano player is good. Yeah. This. yeah. Or it can be it can be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many cool little um, stride um, riffs like that. Stride is really based on chromaticism. You know, this whole right, idea, right. Um, you know. Like coming up from like a G yeah. flat up to a G is really common in stride music. You know, we're often taught a D7 goes to a G, but in stride, you know, they'll go like that up to right. a lot of chromaticism. So I like that. I really like your your um, your point um, to play stride and especially accompaniment is to just take your melody and then put it in the in the beats. You know, something like yeah. that. Is that is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, right. So use a lot of uh, syncopation. The end sound one n two n three n four n. Right. Yeah, right. It's a. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. A lot of eighth notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've. Play so great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
You know what's funny for me as a stride? I've listened to a lot of stride, but I feel like I, um, I've, I'm not a purist when it comes to stride. Like um, I don't. I feel like I've sort of pulled what I liked and then kind of brought it in my own sort of way. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels, where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.